This is 101 ESPN from Super Bowl 46 in Indianapolis. Brought to you by Appliance Solutions, American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning, and Ryan Kelly, the home loan expert. I, I think you addressed it, but I've got to ask you again. They said there's going to be about 170 million people watching. Do you feel any pressure? You do? Uh-huh. Yes, I do. <laughs> and, and any surprise guests, who can we expect going out there with you? I, I really don't want to blow the surprises. I want people to be um, knocked off out of their seats uh, from beginning to end. And so I just want to keep that surprise and keep anticipation going. Sorry. And, and the last one, you know, Simon's reshuffling the X Factor. If he was to call you up and ask you to be one of the judges, would you consider? I think I have enough jobs. <laughs> but thank you for thinking of me. If you did, Simon. Okay, we have uh, a question over here on the side, I believe. We have some microphones out in the crowd. You can see them. Okay, actually, let's go uh, right here. Hi. Are you accepting <laughs> Eli or Tom? You have to pick one. Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> well, you are Madonna, so I guess you can do whatever you want. Well, I, mm, I have to say Eli because he lives in New York. <laughs> and I don't want him to waste gas. Okay. Keep coming. <laughs> okay, we have a question right here, Billy, in the front. Hi, Madonna. Megan Alexander, Inside Edition, congratulations on the Golden Globe for Thank WE. You. Incredible Thank you. movie. Great Thank job. You. Um, you just spoke about prayers, lots of prayers needed. Besides the players, you're perhaps the one other person who can understand the incredible amount of pressure that one feels at an event like the Super Bowl. Um, mm -hmm. And we heard today that Giselle Bunchton, wife of uh, Tom Brady, sent around an email asking people to pray for her husband. Oh, bless her. <laughs> Your thoughts on that? I think that's great. She's a good wife. What kind of support is needed? Um, I mean, there's two things. One is you have to be ready for your game, and I, I approach my shows the same way. So rehearse, 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 preparation, be ready for anything. Um, but then there's also just the support of the universe and the grace of God and as many guardian angels as you can attract. So. The combination of hard work and prayers is a good combination that will lead to success, in my opinion. Okay, we have a question from E! News. <laughs> Hi, David Burtka here, also a Detroit person. David Burtka. Right yes. here. Hi. Hi, you are a genius at almost everything you do. Well, everything you do, I should say. How much control and how much help do you actually have? In what area? <laughs> in every area. I mean, how about the Super Bowl? Well, I've had an incredible amount of support with the Super Bowl. Um, I've had, I'm, I'm working with a longtime collaborator, Jamie King, who's directed a lot of my shows with Cirque du Soleil. Um, I have an amazing team of people um, that have, been, have built my stage, designed my stage, all the performers. I consider everybody my support, my crew. And then, of course, the NFL has been incredibly supportive. Um, giving me all the things I've been asking for, and it's a very long list, so um, it's, it's quite a network of support, and I'm truly grateful for it. We have Thank a question so from ESPN Radio in the back. Hi, Madonna. David Delati with ESPN Radio in Houston. I'm just wondering how much of an NFL fan, football fan are you? Do you take time to watch games routinely, or do you have time to do that? Um, I would have to say the Super Bowl is probably the biggest draw for me. I, I don't have a lot of time to watch TV, period, let alone um, sports, games, whatever. Uh, and so um, it's actually great that I'm playing the Super Bowl because now I can watch and not be bothered. <laughs> okay, we have another question right down here in front. Hi, I'm Anne Marie Tiernan from the local NBC affiliate. Welcome to our city. We have rolled out the red carpet. In all of your career, you've never performed here. What do you I think so far? I haven't? I th no? I th Welcome, Welcome, though. Okay, thank you. I could have sworn I did maybe, I don't know, 18 years ago. Um, I know I'm really excited to be here. It's great. I feel very welcomed. Um, uh, and 
I, you know, I've been inside the stadium. The stadium is great. It's, a, it's truly an exciting, I, I have to keep pinching myself. I can't believe I'm here, so. What do you think of Indianapolis? I love it, it's great. Okay, we have a question right here, right behind you. Madonna VB from Fox 25 in Boston. Uh, everybody in Boston wants to know if Rob Gronkowski is gonna play. A, do you have thoughts on whether he should play or not? And B, how much would a high ankle sprain affect your performance on Sunday? Um, well, a lot of people would say that I'm a bit of a masochist. Um, I would just tape my ankle and say prayers, take an anti-inflammatory and get my butt out there. So, is that an answer? <laughs> Do you think Gronk will play? I hope he does. I hope he does as well. Have a great half okay, show. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, we have another question uh, over here on our right, I believe. Yes. We have our microphone. Hi, uh, Rich Certainly with TNR. Um, you, the Super Bowl is such the perfect blend of entertainment and sports. And I know that you spent time with athletes before your friends with many athletes. Alex Rodriguez being one of them. Is it true that he has an oil Wow. Okay. If he does, I haven't seen it. But I'm pretty sure he has a very large photograph of me um, lying on a horse. So. Okay, we have a question. Hope over that here answers right. your question. <laughs> uh, Bill Plaschke, LA Times. Yeah, hi. Bill Plaschke, LA Times, right here. How can you guarantee against a wardrobe malfunction? given your history, and is, is that something you're thinking about? Um, oh yes, great attention to detail has been paid to my wardrobe. There will be no wardrobe malfunctions. Promise. Okay, we have a, a question from perhaps our youngest member of the media today. Right here. Hello, don't you get a microphone? Hi, um, Gracie Barra with Scholastic Kids Press Corps. What's the craziest thing you've seen in our city so far? Here at Indy. Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you can ask me another question. That was so short. How are you enjoying Indianapolis so far? Um, I, well, my kids are coming this weekend, and I, I hear there's a really great children's museum, so I'm hoping they're going to go out and enjoy it for me. I've, yeah. I've just gone from hotel room to stadium, so. Um, but I'm enjoying it. Thank you. Okay, we have a question on our far left. <laughs> Peter Schrager, FoxSports.com. We were interviewing a lot of the players today, and a lot of them were born 88, 89, 90. Tell me about the players and what they might expect as far as the vintage Madonna catalog on Sunday. Well, there's that question again. I just do not want to give anything away, but I promise I'll be singing three old songs and one new one. That's it. Okay? We don't want to give away the show until nope. we do the show. No, my lips are right. sealed. Exactly. Uh, let's take a question over here, please. Called what? Toost. T O O S E is the closest equivalent. It means fired up or huddle up. We're wondering if you can point kind of in that direction, the general direction of our camera, and say toost. This is embarrassing. Okay. Where's your camera? Just in that general direction. There's a guy waving over there. Oh, hi. Toost. Thank you. Thank you. Don't say I'm not cooperative. We have a question from People Magazine. Hi, Madonna, over here? No weird words, okay? Where are you? Right here? No? no. To your right? I'm waving? Yes. Hi. Hi. How's it going? How did you get yourself in physical shape as you prepare for the Super Bowl? And what went into preparations for the um, entire production? Well, um, I've, I've been, I'm getting ready to start uh, rehearsing for my tour, so I've sort of been in training anyway. But lots of cardio and... I don't know. I do. I mean, I, I'm, I'm doing um, a combination of Pilates, dance cardio, things like that, jump rope. Yeah. How many hours did you spend rehearsing? Oh, goodness. We've, we start rehearsing in December, and then we had the, the Christmas break, and then rehearsing again for three weeks. So I'm ready. <laughs> Thank you. We have a question from Les from AP. Hi, Madonna, over this way. 
There you go. Um, okay. Obviously, you're playing at the biggest sporting event this coming Sunday. I don't know if you're aware, some of your classics are used at sporting events all over the time. Example, the Chicago Cubs haven't won a World Series in 104 years, and one time they went to one of their opponent's stadiums and they were greeted by like a virgin. What do you think when they do stuff like that? I, but they're playing your songs and they play, another time they played uh, Holiday when they ended a long losing streak. Well, I'm never gonna complain when someone plays my song. So I feel good. So we've been talking about some songs of yesteryear. Let's actually talk about a song that is dropping tomorrow. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, well, I have a new single coming out called Give Me All Your Lovin'. And it's available on iTunes tomorrow. So um, I might be performing that. I'm not saying, but. <laughs> okay, we have time for a couple more questions here. And uh, let's try to get a question right here in the center. Right in front. My, the envelope I'm pushing is just for a spectacular show, which will, I think, entertain all age groups and will be a feast for the eyes and the ears. Yep. Okay, let's go down south. ESPN Deportes, we have a question. Um, hello, Madonna. The New York Giants have a player named Victor Cruz who celebrates <laughs> by dancing salsa in the end zone. Yes. Have you seen him? Do you have any criticism on his moves? I have absolutely no criticism in fact he's inspired me i've been practicing my salsa moves and uh i'm going to show them to you and you tell me what you think of them okay here we go and we're going to get victor to watch this too here we go. this is madonna with the silk city salsa and i'm going to say she's rooting for the new york giants i have to say it <laughs> what do you and think that's do you think he'd approve? Absolutely. Okay. Cruise. I think you can get a round of applause here. <laughs> yes, today. that's a great way to end it. Madonna, thank you very much. <laughs> and we'll see you Sunday. Okay, thank you. At the halftime show. Thank you very much. Okay.